Keep rocking with me. Also, make sure you check out the links down below. The first link is to buy me a coffee to help fuel this channel that you love so much. The second link is to shop the official small with the Spizzords merch collection. And the last link is to subscribe to our podcast, Tough Calls, where me and Dylan have some of your favorite sports analysts, reporters, former current athletes chopping up with us on the podcast. Also, make sure you turn notification bells on because the videos are coming like boom, 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 boom. And you don't want to miss a single video. Guys! Guys! It is a victory Sunday, y'all. It's been a long time. It's been a long time since we've been able to have a victory Sunday tomorrow with victory Monday. It's been a long time since these pom-poms was getting dusty up here, y'all. These pom-poms were getting dusty. They were turning into more of a prop than they were part of the show because I haven't even been able to shake the pom-poms in a minute. But y'all, the Eagles, Devonta Smith, Darius Slay, this offense, Nick Sirianni, the run game, got a win over the Denver Broncos, 30 to 13. The Eagles are back in this thing, okay? We're four and six right now. We're gonna get to the box score. We're gonna get into some good notes. The biggest thing that we're gonna talk about, first of all, Jalen Hurts, third straight great game out of Jalen Hurts. Great game against the Lions, Great game against the Chargers. Great game here today. Nick Sirianni, he might be figuring this thing out. We dropped a 40-burger on the Lions. We dropped 20-some on the Chargers. And then we just dropped a 30-burger on the Broncos, who have very good defense. The Broncos, um, the, only team that, the only team to hold teams. They held six teams to less than 18 points. I'll be trying to complicate the stats. The Broncos have a good defense. We know the Broncos have a good secondary. They just doinked the Cowboys last week. And then we came in and our offense did what it did, what it's been doing lately. And that ain't been doing it all season. But guys, we're, I, I'm going to say it. I'm going to say it. We back in the playoff hunt. It ain't no lie. We're in the hunt. We're going to get into the playoff picture at the end. Y'all, we got the Saints next week. The Saints just lost today to the Titans. They lost last week to the Falcons. The, the Saints are looking like the Aints. They're trending down. We're trending up. We got to get the Saints next week. But, guys, let's get into this big game. It was a big game. Big time game by some big time players. Let's get into the stats. First of all, Jalen Hurts, 16 of 23, 178 yards passing, two touchdowns. He did have an interception, but Jalen Hurts hasn't had an interception since the Tampa Bay Buccaneers game. So it's been a whole month since Jalen Hurst throwing an interception. Jordan Howard, 12 carries, 83 yards, averaging 6.9 yards per carry. Boston Scott, 11 carries, 81 yards, 7.4 yards per carry. Jalen Hurts had 53 yards rushing, 3.8 yards on average, 14 um, running plays. Kenneth Gainwell had two carries for five yards. Let's get into the receivers. Happy birthday, Devonta Smith, and thank you for the gift that you gave us. Devonta Smith's first game in the NFL with multiple touchdowns. He had two touchdowns here today. This was the first game, like I said, in the NFL where he's had multiple touchdowns. It's his 23rd birthday. You know, Jordan year, he feeling like the GOAT. He was looking like the GOAT. He had four receptions, 66 yards, averaging 16.5 yards reception, two touchdowns. Quez Watkins, four receptions, 33 yards. Dallas Goddard, and Dallas Goddard left hurt, but he was clutch while he was there. Two receptions, 28 yards, 14 on average. Boston Scott had two receptions for 24 yards. Jalen Rager had one reception, 12 yards. Gainwell had one reception for nine yards. And Stoll had two receptions for six yards. Let me get into some nuances of the thing because Nick Sirianni has been running and gunning since we blew, blew him up. Running backs had 25 carries for 169 yards. We ran the ball last week against the Chargers. We ran the ball the week before against the, the Lions. The run game is going. It's making Jalen Hurts look even better. Jalen Hurts, like I said, had an amazing game. In the first half, Jalen Hurts was 9 for 11 against the Blitz. He had 81 yards against the Blitz. He was 9 for 11. 
Mind you, before the game today, he was only 53% against the Blitz. Today, he was 9 for 11 against the Blitz for 81 yards. Jalen Hurts is making it hurts, and he's looking better and better each week. And I like that. I like that. And I want to know what you, Jalen Hurts, because I know a lot of people in here that want us to draft a quarterback to replace Hurts or whatever. What y'all thinking now? Jalen Hurts is looking better and better each game. I like that. He's looking better and better each game. Like I said, he's much better under pressure. Each week, it's been showing he's much better under pressure. Like I said, 9 for 11, 81 yards versus the Blitz today. Before today, he was only 53% against the Blitz. And, y'all, let's talk about our defense. Ooh, child, big play, Slay. Get his own freaking... Big play, mother freaking Slay. How the heck did big play Slay complete that touchdown? It was... 80 some yards, 82 yards. First of all, right after Jalen Hurts threw the interception, Davion Taylor forced a fumble. Shout out Davion Taylor, developing, looking better and better as the season goes along. Davion Taylor forced a fumble. Darius Slay got the scoop for 82 yards. There were so many missed tackles. It was so many orange uniforms he had to bob and weave through. Darius Slay still got it. Big play, Slay. It's amazing having Darius Slay back. So y'all know Darius Slay left the last game hurt. When somebody Darius Slay age gets hurt like that, it's always like you're holding your breath. Darius Slay is the best player on this NFL. I said this NFL, NFL. He's the best player on this Eagles team. Darius Slay is amazing. And I just love him for it. Like I said, the Eagles, new uniforms, the white top, that black gray scale bottom, First time winning the uniforms, we undefeated. Let's put them Johns on next week when we play the Saints. But like I said, Darius Taylor, Dar Davion Taylor. I said Darius Taylor. I'm trying to make them the same dude. Davion Taylor, y'all. Two force fumbles today. Let's get into the defensive stats. Anthony Harris had six tackles. Davion Taylor had six tackles and two force fumbles. TJ Edwards had five tackles. Um, Avanta Maddox had five. Darius Slay had three. Rodney McLeod had two. Javon Hargrave had one. Derek Barnett had a tackle as well. Fletcher Cox. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, we had one sack on the game. Derek Barnett had a sack. And Derek Barnett had a big penalty again for us today. He had a big penalty. Thank goodness it didn't lose us the game. But Derek Barnett is still getting on my nerves. You guys know how I feel about Derek Barnett. But like I said, y'all, we still in this thing. We, we, we four and six, but we are not down and out. We got, like I said, my goal is to have a winning record. That would be nine and eight. If we end the season eight and eight, I won't even be mad. I mean, eight and nine, because now we have 17 games. We look, we only won four games last season. We got to do better than last season. At least win eight, but my goal is to win nine. Guys, we're still in this playoff hunt because everything is freaking wacky right now in the NFL. So let me tell y'all right now. Right now, the wild card teams, if the NFL stopped right now, the wild card teams would be the Rams, New Orleans, and Carolina. We have New Orleans next week. We need to knock them off and bump them down the rankings, not only for our own win. So we're three, um, we're three spots out. So Atlanta is four and five. The Vikings are four and five. Carolina is five and five. So those are the teams that we are out. Carolina is in the playoff. Um, if, the, if the season start right now, Carolina would be in at 5-5. Five and five. Minnesota would be the first team um, out 4-5, and five, then Atlanta 4-5, and five, then us 4-6. and six. We didn't have our bye week yet, but guys, we have to. The Falcons could lose out. Not necessarily lose out, but the Falcons will lose more games. Minnesota and Carolina, these are all teams that we can be better than, or even the Saints. So basically, we need to be rooting against First of all, everybody in the NFC. But we need to definitely be paying close attention to the Saints, the Panthers, the Vikings, and the Falcons. We need all those teams to lose, 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 lose. And we're in the playoffs, baby. Carolina and New Orleans are only one win ahead of us. And both of them have a wild card spot if the, if the season stopped today. They're only one win. They're 5-5 five and 5-4. Five and five and four. We're 4-6. Four and six. Let's knock off the Saints. Knock them out that wild card hunt. 
and get right back in this thing. But guys, this is my instant reaction. I'm feeling good. You know what I'm saying? It's a win. It's a. It ain't nothing like winning. You guys know, especially when they come few and far between. So I'm feeling good. Um, my voice has been really hoarse lately. I don't know if y'all can tell, but my voice has been really hoarse, and that's why you know I'm loud. Y'all know I'm a loud talker, but that's why I haven't been that loud because my voice. I don't know why my voice has been sore. My throat has been sore, so it's been kind of hard to do these videos because my throat, y'all. But tomorrow we're gonna talk, we're gonna chat, we gotta talk about a lot. Eagles, we gotta talk about the Sixers. Sixers on this loser streak, and we got our West Coast trip coming up tomorrow. So stay tuned, stay tapped in this moment. Spizzards. And I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye!